Biotech meets artificial intelligence, and at the heart of this futuristic combination lies recursion pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol RXRX. But the real question is, can this company become the next biotech giant, or is it just another high-risk, high-height play? Let's dive deep into a full fundamental analysis, clear, concise, and engaging. Let's start with the basics. RxRx currently has a market cap of $2.3 billion, while its enterprise value is significantly lower at $1.33 billion. That indicates a healthy cash position and relatively low debt, a solid signal when it comes to financial stability. Now, looking at the shareholding, RxRx has over 402 million shares outstanding, and that number has grown by 32% over the last year suggesting either new investors coming in or the company issuing more shares. More importantly, institutional investors hold 73.64% of the company, showing strong trust from the big players. Meanwhile, insiders hold just 4.71%, which reflects a decent level of transparency. When it comes to valuation, the P-E ratio and forward P-E are both negative, which means the company isn't profitable yet. However, the price-to-sales ratio sits at a steep 21x, indicating the stock is priced for future expectations. Its price-to-book ratio is 1.73, which is roughly average for the biotech sector. On the liquidity front, RxRx looks pretty solid, with a current ratio of 3.81 and a quick ratio of 3.43, meaning the company can comfortably handle its short-term obligations. But here's the red flag. The EBITDA is negative, $442 million, and net loss over the last 12 months is negative $463 million. That's a per share loss of $1.69, highlighting ongoing operational losses. When we look at profitability, things look even more concerning. Return on equity is negative, 61.89%. Return on assets is negative 28.48%, and return on invested capital is negative 36.13%, all suggesting that the company is burning cash much faster than it's generating value. Let's check out the balance sheet. RxRx holds $594 million in cash, with total debt at $108 million, leaving the company with a net cash position of $485 million. That's a major plus indicating the company can survive a few more years without needing to raise funds. Also, the book value per share is $2.61, which gives us a base reference in terms of asset backing. Looking at recent stock performance, RxRx has dropped over 32% in the past year, and here's the twist. It has a short interest of more than 22%. That means a large chunk of traders are betting against the stock, increasing volatility, but also opening up the possibility of a short squeeze. So here's the bottom line. RxRx is a high-risk, high-reward biotech stock. It has a strong cash position, the backing of institutional investors, and a bold vision powered by AI. But on the flip side, it's far from profitability, heavily reliant on R&D, and its valuations are sky high. If you're a long-term investor with a high-risk appetite and patience for the biotech game, RxRx might be worth watching, but for short-term or conservative investors, this could be a bit too wild. This was our full breakdown of recursion pharmaceuticals, RxRx. If you enjoy deep dive stock analysis like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and drop your thoughts on RxRx in the comments below. Until next time, happy investing.